This video was brought to you by the ILC. Hello there once again. Welcome to episode 30. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to solve an equation that has square roots in it. We've done problems in the past that have x squared in them, but we have not yet done the opposite with square roots. Let's have a look at it. Our equation today is root of 5 minus x minus 1 outside the root equals x. If you have an equation like this, the first thing you want to do is get everything that is not within the square root on the right side. We're going to move everything but the square root to one side. We'll just let this root stay where it is and move the one to the other side here. The one drops out and so we have root of 5 minus x equals x plus 1. The reason why we did that is so the root can be by itself and everything else is on the other side and so now it is safe to square both sides. The reason why we square both sides is to remove the square root. Now if we square both sides we'll have root of 5 minus x the quantity squared equals x plus 1, the quantity squared. Let's try to simplify this a little bit. Well, if we square a square root, those two are inverse functions, because square root is the opposite of squared. They both cancel out and leave us with 5 minus x. On the right side, we have a binomial inside the square, and a binomial inside the square if you recall, has to be written twice. So we'll have x plus 1 times x plus 1. To continue simplifying, we'll need to FOIL the two parentheses together, because it's a little bit hard to do math if you have things stuck in parentheses. You might have seen this one before, but I'll go ahead and demonstrate again. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is 1x. One, 1 times x is also 1x and 1 times 1 is 1. The left side stays the same. We can simplify a little bit further here and just combine the x terms together to make x squared plus 2x plus 1. Still the same thing on the left. So now let's examine what we have here. We've got an x squared in the equation. Now when you have a second power in the equation, your strategy is to try to get everything on the same side. So let's definitely move that 5 over by subtracting 5 from both sides and add this x over. The 5's will cancel out, the x's will cancel out, and so we'll have 0 on the left and x squared plus 2 and 1 makes 3x, and 1 minus 5 makes negative 4. To finish solving the second power equation, we're just going to need to factor. So we'll say 0 equals these two parentheses. Can we think of two numbers that multiply to negative 4 but add to 3? Well, I'm thinking 4 and 1 would probably work but since we want positive 3 in the middle, let's make the larger number positive and the smaller number negative. So we'll have x plus 4 and x minus 1. If we solve both of them, we'll end up with x equals negative 4 and x equals positive 1. Those are our two answers, but we have a little bit more work to do because in a square root equation, we can't be sure that these are both correct answers. Sometimes you end up with false answers, so let's go through the process for checking those. Alright, here are the answers we found, negative 4 and 1. Let's go ahead and substitute the negative 4 back into the equation and see if it gives us a true statement or a false statement. We'll have square root of 5 minus negative 4 equals negative 4 plus 1. If we simplify, 5 minus minus 4 is the same thing as 5 plus 4. 
That's square root 9. Negative 4 plus 1 gives us negative 3. If we operate the square root, the square root of 9 is positive 3. So the statement we end with is 3 equals negative 3, which is definitely false. That tells us that negative 4 is not a correct answer for this problem. Now let's try the other x and see if it gives us a correct statement. We'll plug the 1 in where we see x here and here. We'll have 5 minus 1 equals 1 plus 1. 5 minus 1 is root 4. 1 plus 1 is 2. If we operate the square root, we'll end up with 2 equals 2. That's a true statement. So our only correct answer was x equals 1. The x equals negative 4 will not be considered a correct answer. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next episode.